Don't let strict rules of what a player's dice damage is supposed to be, whether it's in weapon selection, at character creation, or in combat and creative things they do, don't let it limit their creativity. Here's what I mean. Whenever you're at character creation, I let my, like, let's say I have a rogue or something and they want to deal, they want to be a dagger. They, they see themselves as a dagger wielding rogue, but it'd be smarter for them to play something that uses a, a 1d6 or a short sword or something. And that's what they would deal more damage with. So they should do that. No, I want my players to be able to, all right, what, what's the most amount of, uh, uh, what's the highest dice caliber that a rogue could have? Okay, okay, cool. 1d6? Okay, cool. You have a dagger that deals 1d6 damage. Great. Awesome. How cool is that? Or a bow. You want to use a certain type of bow or crossbow or whatever the heck it is you're using. What's the most amount of dice that, that you can possibly wield, whether it's a simple weapon, martial weapon, whatever it is. I let the player, this is literally what I do at character creation. What's the most amount of dice you could feasibly have as that class, cleric, whatever you are. That's the dice you have. What's your weapon? And to just say what their weapon is. Is it a sword? Is it a mace? Is it a maul? Is it a flail? What is it? I don't know. Now, if it's something like a whip, of course, there's going to be some different things there. Oh, it has the reach property or whatever, stuff like that. Or if it's a, uh, some sort of other weapon that has special properties, then sure. But if they want to have a great sword that's not 2d6 and they want it to be 1d12, sure. If they want to have an a ah, two-handed axe or a, a great maul or a huge, huge mace of some kind that's 2d6, sure, let them do that. Whatever they want to do, whatever the dice damage they could have, they select the dice damage and then they choose whatever cool weapon their character wants to use. And then whenever you make weapons for them or they find weapons for them, you can just tell them what the dice damage is for that weapon. Cool, right? Uh, I don't feel like you should be too restrictive in, in these ways, whenever, especially at character creation, whenever your character just wants to make something. Uh, and then this also applies in combat. This is another extra bonus tip on top of this one, is whenever players, there's so many times whenever... They want to do something else besides walk up and stab them with a sword. The most efficient thing for me to do is walk up and stab them with a sword. So when my players are thinking creatively outside the box and they describe something cool that they want to do, that's something like grabbing somebody and slamming them across a table or doing some other cool stuff. Sometimes if it's all, if the only thing they're doing is dealing damage and there's no extra bonuses they get, they're not trying to make somebody prone. They're not trying to do any other flavor features that they're not gaining any other bonuses from. All they're doing is dealing damage in just a cool, creative way. I have them roll an attack and just have them use the dice damage that they would be using anyway. Or I've even flavored it as an athletics check where they make an opposed athletics check in some way. And the damage, if they win, the damage that they deal is the damage of whatever their max dice damage would be. Or maybe one notch less. So if you have a player that can deal 1d10 damage normally and they would walk up and attack with their 1d10 plus their whatever modifier and then that's the damage they would deal. Instead, I'll have them do some cool, they describe some flavor thing that they're doing. Oh, wow, I want to reward that creativity and awesome moment they just added. And if there's not any extra effects or anything, Thing, I'll just let them do that with the 1d10 or sometimes if it's a little out there it's a little it wouldn't make sense to have that be 1d10 maybe I'll downgrade the dice to 1d8 and it'll be 1d8 plus whatever their modifiers are what they're trying to do right or if they want to add some extra flavor they're trying to like make somebody prone or move them or do something like that again either an attack roll athletics check some sort of contest whatever it is I might down, downgrade the dice further to where maybe it's a 1d4 plus their modifier or just their modifier but just Allow for this creativity to let them do cool stuff. And whenever you, they do something super cool and you aren't too restrictive on like, all right, well, that's just going to be a this and then no, no damage happens or I'll roll 1d4 for the thing you did and then you dealt two damage. You should have walked up to him and hit with your sword. You're conditioning your players to play in a less creative way. And if you let them do cool stuff and you reward them by letting them do the damage that they could have done anyway, but they just are having these really cool moments, it lets them be so much more free to play the game and to add cool moments along with the rest of the players and inspire the other players to do the same. I hope you like these quick tip rant videos. Like them up, share them around. And until next time, stay creative. Think outside that box. Peace.